Brilliantly done. A great victory. The glory of which belongs to each and every warrior.
Go, my friend. Brilliantly done.
Brilliantly done. You're back! I'm so glad to see Damien all safe and sound. Look who's here! Isn't that... Lorson? How long has it been? Two years? Three? We've missed you. It's been quite long. Shani, do you know where Granny Donnie is? We would like to introduce her to a new friend. New friend? Hmm. You're a light bearer! Mage? 
Oh, I know. You're like the Wind Whisperers, who can do all sorts of incredible things. No outsiders are allowed into the forest at this point. Given that you're a friend of Lycar and Aeron, you must be a big deal. Oh, right. You're here for Master Dani. <sighs> Unfortunately, she's out of town. First the Thorn Guards, then the Lightbearer Guards. Master Dani must be quite distressed too. Well, in that case, we'll have to wait until she comes back. Corrin's arms cannot wait. You guys handle the arguing part. I'm going to figure out how to make new prosthetic arms for Corrin. Do you mind waiting a bit? You could use this chance to wander around Lunadorf. Don't worry, people are friendly to travelers from afar. Mr. Corrin could use this as an opportunity to get some rest. Hurry, come with me! I've come up with new ideas for the arms. Let's go to the Wise Herb Garden. I want to show you how clever we Wilders can be. Hey, if this isn't Damien, here to find materials again. Many patrollers were sent out earlier to look for you. Where have you been? I accidentally ended up at the very depths of the labyrinth. No, Biggie, I'm back in one piece. Uncle Dian, are there quick vines in the garden? I need them for my new masterpiece. Certainly, they're in the southwest corner. Water them the way you used to. But hey, try not to use those weird potions for watering again. Last time, things were multiplying like crazy. You see, there are no failed inventions. Only inventions of yet-to-be-found practical uses. Thank you, Uncle Dian. I will go get some quick vines now. Incredible. Even with such basic materials, they take form simply through cutting and carving. Yep. I've done it over a hundred times while working on the prototype. Besides, look! I handcrafted this crafting table and the wood carvings of the deer spirit behind the house. They're all random creations from my fun experiments. I... never thought I'd see such exquisite craftsmanship in the dark forest. Corin. This is nothing compared to what you did for me. There's more impressive stuff coming up. The processing part is done up to this point. The next steps are a bit tricky, and we'll need to gather some more materials. Finally! There you are! Master Dani 
has just returned and is waiting for you at the Sage's Court. Aaron and Lyka have already headed there. Granny's back so soon. I need to finish working on these prosthetic arms. Why don't you go meet her first? I'm not interested in those complicated and dull grown-up matters. They mess with my creative thinking. Granny, those Lightbearer mercenaries seem to be intentionally stirring up conflict between the Dark Forest and the Lightbearer Empire. The Thorn Guards are acting strangely as well. They sought to intensify the conflict, going as far as chasing Damien into the labyrinth. On top of everything, they tried to frame the disappearance of Damien on the Lightbearer refugees. If we hadn't arrived in time, the consequences would have been dire. While the Thorn Guards are traditionally conservative, why have they suddenly become so extreme? Must be Eomir's idea. After hearing the Thorn Guards' report at the Sages' meeting, his stance was very firm. Believing the Outsiders had brought corruption to the forest, he implemented the Exclusion Edict. The Thorn Guards were all for his decision. However, Arden and I thought he was too quick to decide, and that's where the disagreement started. Granny Dani, did you end up arguing with Master Eomir? Argue? I was merciful enough not to turn the meeting into an all-out verbal war. In short, the meeting ended on a sour note. Since then, Eomir has been avoiding me. Arden went off to explore the Verduso Mountains, with only occasional updates trickling in. Then I guess it's impossible for you to step in and ask Master Yomir to revoke the order. Me? I wouldn't have waited this long if that old man was willing to see me. Listen, even the three sages need to weigh and contemplate matters before deciding. Wisdom comes only when we free ourselves from blindly following old beliefs. Oh dear, come forward. Let me take a closer look at you. Are you the mage who can cleanse the corruption? I left Lunadorf earlier because a new corruption site was discovered nearby. 
I have to monitor it regularly, just to be safe. What? The corruption has spread near the village. That's no good. The village will be in serious trouble if the corruption seeps into Lunos Lake. The little troublemaker has finally grown into a responsible young man. Lyca can stop worrying about you now. Cranny? <laughs> oh, to be young again. I'll entrust you youngsters with the task of clearing up the corruption around Lunadorf then. Ryan, you stay here. Keep sending Arden messages through the wind and make sure he responds within the day. Yes, Master Dani. Great materials are everywhere. Eat your fill, my children. Total success. Oh, my. Looks like someone. Looks like someone needs a little warm. Oh my. Looks like someone needs a little warm. Oh my, looks like someone needs a little warming up.
Oh my. Looks like someone needs a little bit. everything down? Oh well. Great materials are everywhere. Well, victory is deserved. into this? When I patrolled the forest with the Dusk Patrollers, we only noticed corruption in the less visited spots. We've dug out the roots before, but since they spread too widely, we could only remove a nearby section to slow down the corruption. For the time being, let's make a note of these locations first. I have a pen and paper handy. just cleanse the corrupted roots. What do you think? The mage I brought in is quite impressive, right? She hasn't even said anything, and you're already asking for credit. Come on! I went all out to find her. There's got to be some credit from me, right? All right, friends. Let's not squabble like this in front of Granny Dani. <laughs> you kid! You're back! I've got everything ready for the ceremony. It's the final step in preparing the new prosthetics for Corin. Offering a prayer at the Deer Spirit Altar. Oh, my apologies. We haven't properly introduced you to the deity worshipped in the Dark Forest, have we? We worship the goddess of the earth and the rivers, Misate. Legend has it that whenever the Dark Forest faces calamity, Misate transforms into the Deer Spirit to guide us. A 
as time passed, we sculptured statues of the dear spirit and set up an altar. On major holidays or when facing crucial decisions, we offer prayers to Misate, asking for divine blessings. To pray for Misate's blessing, so that Corin's new prosthetics can last for a good while. I took a close look at his previous arms. They lost their vitality due to extended use. It was only after blocking that attack for me that they stopped working completely. Though Miss Arte may not answer my prayer, I figured I should at least try. Well, worry not. I adjusted my design to ensure that they last longer than the previous ones. Miss Sate above. I'm sure she has heard everyone's prayers. <laughs> Corin, how are your new arms? Aren't they easy to move around with? Yes. My arms. I can move them again. What do you think? They are my greatest invention. Just come to me if anything happens to them. Forget about that exclusion edict. Saving my life makes you a friend. There's no reason to keep friends outside. Yes. I owe you one. No, don't say that. You owe me, I owe you, blah blah blah. It's a meaningless cycle, isn't it? Save your thanks for Lyca and Aeron. They helped us too. Alright. My dear Wilder friends, I've come to understand that the Force Blockade is Ymir's decision. I made a mistake in my previous assumption. You've been accompanying Damien and me on this journey. Please accept my apologies. It's okay. Given the current chaos, we as children of the forest must share the responsibility. Laika Lawson and I were born and raised in the Dark Forest. We must bring order to our home once again. Can you do me a favor? Damien says my arms are not ready to fight anytime soon. So when you see Irmir, <laughs> I have faith in you. You must be exhausted from the journey. Granny Dani and Shani have arranged a place for you to rest. If you'd like a short nap, head to the house by the Wiser Herb Garden. Why are you still up? Is the place Granny Dani arranged not to your liking? As a guest from afar, it would be our fault if you couldn't rest well. Well, my mind is restless, so I thought I'd walk around the village. This tree, you see, was planted when Lunadorf was founded, imitating the Lucent tree. When I was young, I often saw people standing under this tree. I would ask them, if you have worries, why not pray at the Deer Spirit Altar? And they said many things were too embarrassing to voice in front of Misate. Now, I understand that sentiment. While you were wandering the village, did anyone mention a nickname for me? Some call me the Scion of the Lucent Tree. The Lucent Tree is the sacred tree of the Dark Forest. 
and it is believed that a child born under its branches will be blessed by Misate. Everyone believes that I would bring peace and happiness to the forest. I've never met them. Was I abandoned by my parents, or was I blessed, as legend has it? It's meaningless to trace my lineage, because I don't feel any different from Laika Lawson and the others. But there's only one thing I can't forgive myself for. I wish to walk the path of the sword, and have no interest in living up to everyone's expectations. So, as Lawson said, I left. I left the forest and everything behind, dedicating myself to perfecting my swordsmanship. Only upon my return did I realise that the forest had changed. I wield the weapon meant to protect the forest, but I've lost the will to protect it. You're right. Yet, being a member of the Wilder community, I have duties to fulfil. I'm not the hero everyone envisions. Just a selfish person avoiding his responsibilities. I deserve to be punished. Don't let my self-pity affect your mood. Go and get some rest. Chippy, do you remember when I was affected by the corrupting magic at the forest entrance? The magic emanating from the corruption felt identical to what I sensed in Southville. Is it possible that the same person is behind all this mess? Ah! Stop! You're giving yourself a headache! Chippy will cry if you collapse again! Magister, why haven't you gone to bed yet? You need some quality sleep to restore your magic. Hammy suggested that we take some time to think so you can get more rest. You must be really tired from the journey and the cleansing. Yes, 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 but we haven't come up with anything yet. Before you reinforce the seal, didn't the mercenaries guarding the Great Fields mention a woman in black working with Lord France? I think there's a connection between the corruption here and what happened in Ryan. But so far, we haven't found any clues. Hammy doesn't have any ideas. So Chippy is even more clueless. Chippy thinks those creepy, tangled roots underground look like a huge spider web. Super scary! Magister, leave the guarding to me and Chippy. Go get a good night's sleep until you're fully rested. Hammy is right! Rest well, Magister. Tomorrow we'll figure out how to get Ymir to lift that exclusion edict. to see you. Did you sleep well last night? Granny Dani, we've come to say goodbye. We're heading to the base of the Thorn faction to find Eomir. We hope he'll reconsider the exclusion edict and ensure fair treatment for the refugees. 
Go on, teach that old man a lesson. He won't remember the forest's way of treating guests unless we remind him. Avoiding me is one thing, but if he can't even face a few youngsters, that old man will lose all his dignity. <laughs> Damien, we're getting ready to leave. Stay in the village and be careful with your inventions, or Granny will be after you with her umbrella stick. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't let her catch me while I'm working on my new explosive barrel. Lawson? What? Did I do something wrong again? No, you did well. May the wind guide both you and her on your way.